Oh, hi there, everyone. Welcome to another Trevor's Trail here at Geektopia Island. I'm Cardwell. I'm Kevin. And that's Trevor. Today, uh, we are revisiting the good old combination of blue and red. Usually pretty powerful on most TC TCGs out there for sure. But before we do, we go and remind you that we do have a Patreon. It only takes a dollar to support us. We love you very much for it. The link will be down below. Today, we are going over Fire and Ice. Uh, it's all about spells, actually. The Spells Matters deck. And with that, uh, to help us out with that, of course, is Gillian, the Witch Queen, or the Champion, Exhaust. Reveal any number of spells from your hand. Reveal the top card of your deck. If it's a spell cost equal or less than the number of cards you reveal from your hand, add it to your hand. Uh, immediately on their turn, first turn, you're just doing this. Be like, what's what do we have here? And mm -hmm. reveal whatever you can for sure. And of course, our spirit is Spirit of Ur Ur Urza Tovas. It's just really good and powerful. So you exhaust, pay two, target unit gets plus 1,000 this turn, and if it costs four or more, it gains destroyer, which might not come up, but so burst, all, guard, all units you control get plus 1,000 this turn, just in case you need to save your dudes. But yeah, being able to just pay two and give a thing plus 1,000 actually wrecks you a lot more than yeah. you think. Oh, yeah. It just does. Especially if you're going to kill your little dude and you're like, well, he's big now. Sorry, yeah. thanks. Uh, the first guy we got in the deck is Rex, Child of Brilliance. It is one for a 1,000. And if you would shard drain, you may sacrifice this card instead of returning a shard to your shard deck. So he's there to, to take over for shard shard bullshit. Yeah. Really. And it is a one drop 1,000, which is good. But yeah, he will be sacrificed pretty yeah. quickly. Ashborn Shaman. It's a two drop 1,000. Uh, whenever your opponent plays a spell or, or uses an active ability, you may search your deck for a fire spell with one or less and add it to your hand. And that's every time they do it. So that's pretty good. Next is Ash, the Tide Melder Squire. It is one of the new promos. It is three for a 2,000. Uh, whenever in your fire and water spells cost one less to play while your opponent has three or more destroyed towers. And then once per turn, expel a fire card and a water card from your discard zone, deal 1,500 to target unit, and if you do, draw a card. Yeah. So that is kind of insane. Because 1,500 can kill most things. Yeah. Like, easily. And it says once per turn, so you can do it on your turn and their turn. So hopefully you're just, like, blasting their dudes away mm -hmm. real quick. Well, we have Lloyd, Traveler Worlds. It's a 4-drop 2,000. His unit is... I don't know. Uh, arrive. You may place your three up to three target spells from your discard zone under this card. You may play spells with this card as if they were in your hand. If you do, expel them after they have been played uh, when they leave the field. Expel all cards under it when this leaves. So... It's pretty cool. Just be like your three smallest spells that you need to cast real quick or just bigger ones as well. Next is the Beaconer of Dreams. She is five for 2,000 and arrives. You expel any number of spells with Shard Drain from your discard zone. Take control of target unit with cost equal to the number of cards you expelled. Yeah. So you can steal dudes all you need and be like, hey, cool. Most of the time you're going to want to take like their one or two drop just because it's pretty easy that way and you don't really lose a lot. Yeah. And some, most of the one and two drops in this game is pretty powerful as well. Mm -hmm. Or even uh, a Guardian that, from the White Tower. You just pay zero and just, just give me that. Yeah. Just give it. Now, just in case you don't remove your graveyard, you have Magical Giant. It's a 10 drop, 5,500, but it has Guardian. And it costs one less for each spell in your discard zone. This card cannot be targeted by spells, so they can't just burn it or kill it away, which is super nice. Yeah. So the fact that you can just, like, I have a big dude, hopefully by it's super cheap, too. The first spell we got is Ancient Serpent's Breath, which is one for an insta-cast uh, return target unit with total cost two or less from to its owner's hand, and its owner draws a card. And an additional cost to play this card, you may shard drain one if you do return target unit to the top of its owner's deck. Yep. This card is insanity for blue. Like, if you're playing blue, you should be playing this card because it's just that strong. Agreed, for sure. And also super strong is Phantasmal Guards. It's a one-drop uh, spell, put two illusion tokens with 500 Guardian. Uh, they cannot attack, but that's okay. You just want to keep going, get to the late game. Uh, next is Assault of Ashes. It is one for an insta-cast red spell. Uh, you choose one. If you control three or more fire units, you may choose both. Uh, you deal 500 damage to target unit or destroy target damage unit. That's mostly what you're going to be doing on this, is destroy target damage unit. Because mm -hmm. you have the little phantasmal guards that hit something for 500 and then you're like, cool, that thing dies. Or any of the other things that do damage. Like yeah. Ash, you can be like, hey, cool, kill that guy. Simple as that. And it's the card that you can search up with the, with the two drop. <clears throat> phantasmal Storm, instant cast, still 2,000 to target unit. You can shard rate one, expel this card from your discard, search your deck for another phantasmal and add it to your hand. For, so for a two drop instant cast, this is super powerful. The fact that you can do it on turn, uh, if you have four shards, 
do it and then immediately shard drain either sack the dude or your shard and go get another one to kill something else like yeah. if you really need to it's worth it uh next is omega magic mizu it is two for an instant cast spell choose one or if you have two or fewer towers you choose two draw a card exhaust target dude or return target unit that is exhausted yep so you can draw cards and bounce dudes or whatever this card's actually really strong just to protect you most of the time you're going to want to like tap that dude and bounce that other dude or whatever yeah so if you don't know it reads top down so you can tap someone and then bounce that same dude mm -hmm. Uh, we have the uh, other Omega Magic Katsai, two drop insta cast. Deals 1500 damage to target, uh, target attacking or blocking unit. And then if you have two or less towers, it deals 2000 to another target unit. So it can be the same one or another dude just sitting there, just not caring. Mm -hmm. And you just you make them care. Uh, next is the title rush. It's three for an insta cast spell. Return target unit to its owner's hand, then draw a card. And as additional cost to play this card, you can shard drain and return, if you do, return target unit to its owner's hand. So this is another one of those shard drain cards you're going to use for the, the little Rex guy to get rid of him. But you just get to bounce dudes. Yeah. And it's a cantrip at the same time and insta cast. It's yeah. just really good. Now, just for fun, we have Void Fire Desolation. It's an 8 drop, but you can destroy up to one of each. Target unit, augment, shard, and tower. So if you're like last tower, you're like kill that guardian, kill that tower, yeah. uh, kill that shard, your Corona shard, I'm sure, and then just get it out of there. Done. Pretty strong. Yep. Speaking of shards, what we have is nine uh, Argent shards, just straight up. And then of course uh, the the special one is the Spirit Ruby. It's the legendary shard that everyone needs to run. So exhaust, flip your spirit face down, destroy target unit, which is probably what's going to be mostly used for. And with that, that is just. Hopefully a fun aggro like spells deck where you just always have a hand and always have spells in your graveyard for all the benefits. But with that, the deck list will be down below. And hopefully you enjoyed your stay here at Geetopia Island. Goodbye. Later. Also, guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel. And then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Uh, thank you, Dwayne Higgs. And thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.